All right. Um, yeah. Um, in regards to the youth programs here in Wildemar, I think some of the facilities that are here, like Gene Heyman Elementary School, is already vacant. And from what I understand, it's not going to reopen again. Um, we can partner up with somebody and either use that as a teen center, um, which also would be like a career and workforce center to help the youth in the community find jobs yeah. and also train them in maybe um, certain areas uh, that are available for work within the valley. And then also um, working with the school districts, like when I was a kid, you could go to any school during the summertime and it was open. And you could use the facilities to play football, baseball, basketball. There'd be volunteers there to check out, you know, different um, like basketballs and stuff like that. And um, the, the schools are all shut down. I know it's because of vandalism and stuff. But if there's people there that are monitoring the children and teens during the summer, I think the facilities are already here. And why shouldn't we be able to use those facilities? They're paid for by tax dollars. You just have volunteers come in and work that, and then the kids have a place to go. Um, I know that kids not only want a skate park, they're also looking for a BMX park. There's lots of BMX riders around here too, and a lot of them are dual. A lot of kids that skate ride BMX and vice versa. Um, I'd also like to see some type of um, annual event that's geared around children, and maybe you know, like a family thing, um, not just a street fair or something, but um, I, I don't know, something that you know would draw people from outside of the community of Wilthmar as well to generate income for the city. Can, can I ask you, do you see that as a function of, of your local government doing that, or do you see that as a, as a non-profit like a Boys and Girls Club or something? If you farmed it out to Boys and Girls Club, then it would become them. That would be non-profit, but since the school districts are already here, I think that the city could work with the school districts, and that would be local then, and for those types of programs. In including funding the programs? <laughs> Correct, and I, I think the funding of those programs would be very low if you have volunteers that are coming okay. to the school, and the, they already have basketballs, they already have a court here, the fields and everything are already here, it's just maintenance. Okay, thanks. Right back here. Hi, I'm hearing a lot about generation of revenue and what is the function of government. It appears that the function of government is to listen to the needs of the citizens, such as in this forum. And one thing I'm hearing is that a lot of the wishes of the citizens seem like they can be put in a collaborative effort and a lot of the issues could work together, such as the idea of a university the needs of meeting a geriatric population and the teens could work together in that you could get community block grants to support a university. And then the mandatory hours of the students could be used to volunteer for senior centers and or volunteer centers, excuse me, and or youth centers because it's mandatory those hours. And a university like that with that's thematic to represent and not offend people who want to protect the environment, like a Pierce College. So you have a school of botany that plants trees for free. So there's kind of an energy <coughs> with all those components fitting together. Yeah, and, a, and, a, and the thing is, like, when I think Temecula, I think wineries. I think Norco, I think horses. I think Marietta, I think hot springs. I hear Wildemar, I'm not so sure. But if Wildemar, which may be like a small city, it has a huge heart. If they could put these ideas and visions together, they could create this amazing thing that none of these huge cities around here have been able to do except San Jacinto with the community college. Right. So I, I see amazing potential. Okay. You know, a, a little side note there on economic development, that, um, you know, a university that has a medical school, you know how much that generates locally in the, um, in, in the uh, economic generation of funding locally? It's about a billion dollars annually. Big universities with medical schools, and they typically have MBA programs, and, and, and oh, and engineering was the other one, is, are amazing contributors to the local economy. So. Anyway, okay, who if I not call? How about right there in the green shirt? Um, I think the, the youth, they should volunteer. 
you should get you, you, the parents should get their kids to volunteer making putting up the trees, like taking down things, do, uh, painting over the graffiti, helping in the street fairs. They should get into the community community because some actually might end up living here, and some may some may not. But they they're going to be the future of this city. They need to get into it, or else if the kids in the, like in 20 years, they're not. There's no, no one's going to be working on this. Okay. Well, you look like a young person. Let me ask you something. We've, we've talked a lot about projects for teens to do. We've talked a lot about planting trees and being environmental and so on and so forth. But honestly, don't teens want more than that? I mean, don't they really want other kinds of things to show up in large numbers? I really don't know. <laughs> I have to ask a young person, huh? <laughs> Yes, in back. The Rotary International Club, they offer scholarships from their foundation to raise youth to become future leaders. They have interactors, which are in high school, pride and junior high. They have music competitions, speech competitions. They use uh, high schoolers to do safety prevention for the younger children who are four to eight years old to teach them safety. There are scholarships for teens to go to the university and to college, which is all available if there was a club in our Waldemar community. Okay, thanks. Right here. The, school, the state school system already has a program that coordinates all of the youth projects like that. It's called the ROP program. And uh, it's part of the integral part of the state school system. It's paid for by the state. And all of these projects that you talked about are already coordinated through the ROP program. So you look, need to look to see how strong your ROP program is within the Wildemar School District. And if not, make it, you know, stronger than what it is. Or, I think they're there. I think they're just not as well known, or your community okay. doesn't know about it. Because so, every school system has an ROP program, and they coordinate everything that you're talking about. So you would be supportive of the idea of an interactive website that had one-stop shopping that would have a, a better disclosure exactly, of what all the programs yeah. that are available? Yes, that's exactly what ROP does, and it's funded by the state. It's an integral part of the state school system. Okay. I want to take one little diversion. Hold your thoughts for just a second, because I think something really interesting happened a few moments ago when in back she said, uh, when I think of Norco, I think of horses, and when I think of this, I think of that. What do you think about when you hear Wildemar? Remember, we're teleological people, so we, we painted a picture. And what do you think of, and what do people drive through town think of? If you don't want to take a shot at that, just, just a couple of adjective words. How about right in back there, just quickly. I think of uh, mountain tops, hills, uh, dryness, uh, not too much development. Okay, and how about right here, this gentleman right here? Well, I, I would propose the word trees, but I, I just want to point out something. I think three or four times, and this lady here spent quite a bit of time talking about a diversified tree planting program for the city, but it's not getting written up on the uh, posters. So I'd appreciate it if you could make note of the fact that I'm saying trees, and so did several other people. Okay, let's capture that. Do you want just the word trees, or, or Tree City USA, or give us some You could put Tree City USA, and that might capture it better. Um, <laughs> sure, that'd be okay. fine. Let's go to this side. What do you think of when you think of Voldemort? The, uh, Wait one second, get the mic. Base, basically, a uh, community that houses a uh, more of a retired, uh, uh, well, people are not uh, citified, shall we say. So perhaps a more rural nature? More of a rural, rural, rural community. Oh, oh, okay, right there. I just have uh, peaceful. Peaceful. Okay. Uh,